Okay, this is a small demonstration about Qtablet. Qtablet is a Qt based application framework which, which is meant to be run on the device like Nokia N810. And here's an example about the home screen which can be scrolled in vertical mode and they're going to be with different kind of backgrounds. Then there's a menu called Q Launcher, which is actually running using Qt animation framework. This full thing works with own window manager called QLVM and I have hacked it so that it uses this Q tablet as a desktop. So we can easily launch applications from the Q launcher and minimize them and let's open a few more like web browser you can run applications directly from the OSSO platform so this this runs actually OSSO applications Let's open the Qtablet website. If it opens. Okay, as you can see, the web browser works. So this provides own decoration. Then this provides also virtual desktops. So there are two virtual desktops at the moment. And as you can see, it shows uh, those <clears throat> uh, applications which are opened in, in the desktop so I can minimize them here and then maximize do something and then minimize them again and they update uh, in the pager so there's also this cool effects. So let's open more applications like this one. The decoration is not so finished and, and this contains pretty much hard coded things. But the idea is that this q tablet can uh, scale from these small uh, displays to bigger ones. So let's see how it looks like. So now you can pan here all the minimized items, sorry, minimized applications. And let's start to use and switch the next image and minimize it. So you can see that the thumbnail is updated there. So we can switch desktops here. And let's open another application like uh, terminal and let's minimize it and now you can see it's in the different desktop if I open this application from another desktop okay there's a bug but now you can see it has changed to desktop 1 okay basically this is what it has now and as you can see it doesn't run as well as it could be but this runs without any open GL and so I'm pretty satisfied with this.